PD announced that they've suspended the partnership with Mastercard for Vetra card provisions. So they said uh what, what was happening is the the standard of services they want to offer the customer Mastercard was not helping them meet that. Mm-hmm. So they are reviewing That's it. Surprising. Yeah, but I they didn't, didn't disclose the specifics yeah. Yeah. of what happened and they are telling users to just go to Visa and create their uh visa, visa cards uh, so for context for those who are wondering why this is a big deal most online transactions right now in nigeria cannot be done through nigerian banks most nigerian except banks you have a domiciliary account except you have a dumb account and you can't get a dumb account without having dollars so the last time i tried to open a dumb account for instance the bank told me to go to bureau the change yeah, to get yeah, yeah. dollar I don't know if that's the and case it's now. Every time, you no, know, it's the case. Chidema was telling me yesterday that she was going to a big change to go buy dollar and then deposit it into the company's uh, domiciliary so account. So, what is the meaning of the floats they did? The floats, the naira floats. I don't know. No, so, you say it's not even full floats. Yeah, it's a managed float. Yeah, yeah, that's it's fine. Mean. But it's not full. It's not. Yeah, it's not, managed it's, not, it's not complete. They are different. So it's twenty sixteen all over again, basically. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's the issue. That's why we are using virtual cards, mm-hmm. right? So to buy stuff on Amazon, to buy stuff on AliExpress, to even buy stuff on Udemy to yeah. uh, get a course, you can't pay for it with your normal bank. Most banks, right? I'm saying most banks because I'm hearing there are one or two banks that allow with your Naira account, but I've not been able to confirm independently. So, uh, but yeah, that's that is the situation on things now. Now they are saying they are suspending the. Uh, partnership with Mastercard. So Mastercard and Visa are like the global providers of payments like card schemes. If you want if you want a global acceptance rate all over the world, just go for the two, go for the two of them. But here's a problem. A lot of users are complaining about PD online. Mm. They are not able to withdraw their funds. So uh, a friend of mine had s- small change in Mastercard. It's not plenty, I know. Mm. But what he wanted to do was to subscribe for is a developer, so he wanted to subscribe for GitHub Copilot, mm. and he wanted to add money to it to subscribe for Copilot. He can't fund the Mastercard. Okay, let me withdraw it from the Mastercard and put it in the Visa, Visa card. <laughs> it can't withdraw, so he has to spend the money inside the Mastercard. He mm. can still spend it too, but and once he's done spending that money, that's the end of the card. Switch to to Visa. Visa. But the problem is with the amount that is on the card. There are not many things you can buy with that. You need to add like maybe five dollars or ten dollars. Oh, okay. So and if you can't fund, you can't fund it. <laughs> so well, you should be able to withdraw. The other, the last time that Spade has similar thing that they stopped must they stopped everybody from using Mastercard. What they did is move your the money in your card into your account and delete the card. Then you create a new. You know. That's what they did. Then. Let's see that happen. Well, so um, I want to believe that they are not a payday is not telling the full story, yeah, obviously because uh, um, banks have been using a, a Mastercard. Nigerian banks have been using Mastercard for years, and there is no complaint that yes, and you still go there today now. It's still going to be a case of which one do you want, Mastercard, Visa card, or or Viv? Yeah, yeah. I want to believe they are not telling the full story with the with the partnership. Partnership. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been, I've been seeing a lot of comment. So this is, it's not good for a company that raised about say three million dollars, uh, just barely a year ago, thereabouts. Months, just few months, few months ago. Just so, easier. Yeah. And you are seeing. So this is what I don't like about fintech companies that I'm seeing complaints about you every time I go online. It doesn't make sense. And with this news, I've been seeing. A lot of complaints. Oh, people can't withdraw their money. People can't do this. I'm like, what's going on? Customer service. Is it just customer service? Yeah, it's customer service. So there are some fintechs that you uh, uh, you send them a DM, mm. and you don't need to go and drag them on the TL, and they just like attend to you and fix your stuff. There are and some. There are <laughs> some that you don't even need to even. You don't need, no. DM. There are some that you do just DM them and they just fix it. And there are some that you have to drag them. Tag them, tag them, tag them, tag them, and invite people to help you <laughs> tag them. But yes, uh, I, I, but in this situation, I, I don't think it's a customer case. I think it's a what's technical. Maybe customer. yes, it's a technology 
technical issue. So if you call customer care for something, customer care can also, I mean, they are saying, I'm sure, I don't know the specifics of the issue, but they're having issues with MasterCard, which means that thing is deeper. Which means someone from customer care can't just say, "Oh, you can withdraw." Okay, let me do this for you. Um, I'll just move. It can't be moved. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Which is why I said it's like they are not telling the full story because yeah. we have yeah. people that have been using brands that have been using them over the years. So the, the issue with virtual cards recently has been this issue of chargebacks and uh, insufficient funds. So, Mastercard and all those global payment services providers interpret those insufficient funds a lot. So what you guys do, I'm, I'm targeting all of you now. What you guys do, you create the card, put the exact amount of money you need there so that in case you don't want to renew next month, it does not automatically debit your account, right? So but they will charge you for, um, what's this thing called? Um, a fee, a penalty. Yeah. That, they started that recently now. Mm-hmm. It's, it, was, it didn't used to be like that. You get. Okay. So, now they said they will charge. So I don't know if that is even with that threat of charge. Well, people are still putting cards and not funding them. But if you are paying for a subscription that you don't want to renew, what if you just, you just set a reminder that okay, you are a day or two to the expiration of the subscription. There's, there's something. There's something you remind wrong. Remind me to deactivate the subscription. There, there's, there's something wrong with that market. Okay. Now this virtual dollar market. I think the issue is. It won't, it won't happen if I was using like my normal bank account because I usually have money there, right? So you can't get people to constantly, If you, I think the thing is, if you can get people to constantly have money in their account and be able to use it for like other things, right? And then dollar card is not separate from yeah. accounts that you can use to like send money, buy stuff. Maybe they won't have that issue. But is, is it not interesting that the guys that actually have this feature you're talking about don't have Vetra cards? Piggy vests, <laughs> carbon, fair money, um, OP. Ca- carbon said they're working on the Vetra card. They, they've been working on it for how long? <laughs> <laughs> so those guys, they've actually been good that too. Hmm. These guys, they've been moving towards like. Who at, has a Vetra card? Dollar card. No, it's virtual dollar card I'm, I'm referring to. So, these guys, Kuda, Carbon, Fair Money, they've been able to build a certain level of trust. Even though you won't put all your money there, even OPE too, you at least keep some money there to be using for other expenses, right? But I don't think Payday and Cheaper Cash are at that level of Carbon and OPE yet mm. and Kuda. So, but I find it interesting that these guys that are the credit-led new, new, new banks, and the uh, payments led in your bank, Kuda, they've not introduced a virtual <laughs> dollar card feature. I mean, something there that yeah, you don't want to talk. <laughs> <Shana, laughs> I like, huh? want to go here. So it's 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 interesting. Uh, uh, should I do it? <laughs> or should I not? Watch it? Hmm. So, that yeah, right. Yeah. You don't want to talk. But, I mean, that's not the only issue with payday so far. So, we are hearing that the co founder, okay, he was she was not originally part of the founding team. But uh, payday school founder uh, and chief operating officer Ogechi Yvonne Obike has stepped down as C- COO of the company. So she was brought in at a time when they just raised their seed round or pre seed round to kind of standardize operations. And she really changed a lot of things in payday. Mm-hmm. But she's saying at this point, the goals, her goals and the company's goals do not happen. align. Mm. But yeah. Has is the most high profile exits, but I've seen like one or two people that mm. already said today is my last day at PD, and I'm wondering, mm. okay, what's going on? So I'm seeing customer complaints, I'm seeing partnership withdrawals, and I'm seeing employees telling me. So those, some of them are contracts, some of them are full time. I'm seeing the employees saying today is my last day at PD. So yeah, what what is going on? I I reached out to uh, the co-founder Vivo, but of course. Obviously, he was never going to respond. I didn't expect him to. But yeah, if you are watching this or listening to this, you can respond, please. So uh, I reached out, asked him questions specifically about the MasterCard partnership because I felt there were things he mm. was not. So what specific issues did you face with MasterCard that is not yet with Visa? And yeah, they are now charging card creation fees. Yeah, Back five, to you. $5. Okay. So 
It's God will help. God will help everybody. Praying for their space. I mean, is it their industry? That's a Twitter yesterday. That now the banks are allowing you to buy dollar virtually. Just allow me to be using my naira card to pay. Oh, you can buy dollar. Yes, so you can buy. Exchange your naira for. Yeah, it's in naira for dollar. Yes, but you need to dollar for naira. Is does it go both ways? That's what I'm asking. Oh, I don't know. I actually do in three. I only hear that you can uh, buy dollar uh, on some of the bank uh, uh, platforms. Like, oh, interesting. Just allow me pay online and uh, yeah, yeah. You push your allow us pay online. Yeah. Allow me pay online. Not much. Please. Just you demi me charge GPT. They allow us. What will happen to all them pay? Them? <sighs> no, see, it will be a competitive playground, right? Have the best rates. Best rates. The best man win. Best customer service win. I mean, my bank now. I don't complain about them too much. If I have a failed transactions at this point, I don't even DM my customer service. In a few hours, they reverse the money. Mm. That is my own issue, right? But there are some fintechs that you DM them, they never ever respond to you. My bank takes two days to respond, but I know that okay, they respond eventually. But I mean, okay, let's let's leave this issue. So yeah, regulators have a lot of questions to answer in Nigeria's financial services space. Mm-hmm.